better than expected quarter, uh, but the membership stayed the same quarter over quarter, about 7.1 million. Take us through uh, what went down. So seasonality in this industry, as you sell most of your membership January, you know, through about April, May, is kind of the peak of the year. And then you same summer months come, you send the tail off. So it's kind of like that peak in the trough. So this is very normal in the industry as a whole. So as we open more stores, uh, you also have that diminishing of averages because the new store just opened. So the only couple thousand members they opened the doors there. So we're just over 7.1 million today. And then in winter, this time now is asked to come back up as we go towards January. Sure. So I'm guessing you saw uh, a lot, maybe the black cards. How did that work for you? Yeah, black card percentage continues to go up. You know, as we increase our black card areas, make them nicer, make them better, make them more of a spa feel, a little dim lighting, sometimes different spa music in there as well. So it's kind of an exclusive area. Really nice and added hydro in the last couple of years. And uh, recently hydro came out with a lounger <clears throat> a different version bed, which is actually getting some traction as well. And another area uh, of growth, you guys, seems to be, you just announced Dominican Republic. Yeah. So, two-part question, what, why Dominican Republic, and where else can you look to get yeah, into? So, we have um, a great group of franchisees, our partners there in Puerto Rico. They opened their eighth club just recently. Um, and they, um, next, you know, plane right over is Dominican Republic. So, they wanted to go there. They did a lot of legwork in Puerto Rico to get, to, you know, figure out how to do business in Puerto Rico, which is a little bit different than the States, mm -hmm. even though it's a territory here. Um, so, they wanted to go to Dominican. Uh, smaller, you know, South American, you know, part of the region. So they wanted to go there, work out the bugs, figure out what was right, how to work the business. Um, they did a, a great work there. They're in pre-sale today. Um, is there a societal trend that you're seeing in there? Is it BC? Or just a um, not really, but you know, interesting fact there, where in the states, 80% of the population doesn't belong to a health club. There, it's almost 98% doesn't belong to a health club. So it's just not us. There's no service there, you know. So um, that club's phenomenal already. It's not even open the doors in there. Their pre-sales have well exceeded my expectations. So uh, Dominican is also a smaller country. Give us a time to kind of figure out that market and figure out maybe what we can learn and maybe before we go into like Mexico or South of Central South America in the future. Interesting. But, but no plan yet. I mean, we got so much growth here in the States. It's in Canada, we're really focused here. Sure. And, you know, we're coming up on the new year. Yeah. Uh, and I believe if I got it right, you added maybe one million members in the first quarter of this year after the holiday season. Yeah. What are you looking for uh, in first quarter 2016? You know, I, I play month by month, you know, and, and looking for a really strong January, you know, with the New Year's Eve kickoff here in Times Square with the Dick Clarks, uh, Ryan Seacrest, uh, and, and Times Square Alliance. So it could be really something with a presenting sponsor this year. So um, really big exposure there. So I think it'll really kick us off well. Um, as an industry, I mean, we should really own New Year's Eve, I think, for New Year's resolutions. Um, and we have market coverage with 1,040 stores. So it really with perfect, perfect fit. Well, good luck for the holiday season. Great. Thank you very much.